I go shopping and you stay in the car. When are you gonna be here? Hello, are you okay? Please answer me. Hello? Hello? Do I really need to stay in the car? Can't they just go with you this time? Jimmy, you know the drill. I go shopping and you stay in the car. It's not that difficult. Yeah, but I'm tired of doing that. It's the same thing every time you go shopping. You leave me behind. Besides, I'm going to be so bored in here. What am I supposed to do this whole time? Just play in your phone. That's all you do all day anyways. Can I please just come with you this time? No, you can't. Just stay in your seat where you are right now. I gotta go to a couple of stores and I'll be back in an hour. Okay, I guess. And remember, my app will notify me the moment you open the door. Is that understood? But what if it gets really hot in here? Then what? How hot can it really get in here? Just grow up. Okay, just please don't take too long. Remember, the door stays closed. Don't make me return you to the foster agency where I found you. Hello? When are you gonna be here? I've been inside for hours. Yes, I just finished the shopping now. Oh, okay. So you're finally gonna come back? Actually, I have to make one more stop. I'm really hot. Can I at least open the door then? No, Jimmy, don't you dare to get out of the car. Remember what we agreed to. But I'm really hot. I don't know how much I could take it. Don't be such a crybaby. I gotta make one more stop and I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Are you okay? Please answer me. Hello? Hello? That little jerk. That's it. He's gonna get it this time. And she said if I got outside, she would send me back to the foster agency. What? Why does she say such a nasty thing? I don't know, but I just rather be with her than not know who my next foster parents are gonna be. Oh, I'm, so I'm just tired. I'm so sorry. What's going on here, Jimmy? Why on the floor? I told you to stay in the car. Ma'am, can I speak to you for a second alone? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I happened to be walking past your car and I saw him sitting there alone, suffering of heat exhaustion. He could have died. Well, he looks fine to me. Well, yeah, after I dragged him out and helped him out. Why would you do that? 
When I found him, he was barely cautious, barely able to breathe. God forbid if I didn't find him when I did. Well, he looks fine now. Can we just go home now? <sighs> Do you realize why your foster kid would have died today? No, not really, no. Because you told him that if he dared step out that car, you would send him back to the agency. That's why. Okay, well, I didn't really mean it. Mom, why would you say such a mean-spirited thing to the foster child? He has no family, and the only family he has is you, and you would turn around and say something like that to him. You don't know who I am, but I work for Mango Park County, and I can make your life a living hell if I wanted to right now. Okay, please, can you, please, don't report us. I won't, for his sake, because he's been through enough, and splitting him up from his foster family is the last thing he wants. Thank you. But only under a few conditions. What conditions? One, you mm -hmm. promise to never lock him up against his will again. And secondly, you allow me to do welfare checks for the next couple of months to make sure that he's doing okay and that you've changed your ways for the better. Yes, I agree. I promise I'll be a better foster parent for him. Okay, good. Can I help you up? Sure. So I spoke to her and she realized that she was wrong for locking you up. So I told her I wouldn't report this if she promises to do better and if she allows me to check up on you in the next few months. Does that sound okay with you? Yeah, sure. I actually love that idea. Thank you for helping us. I, I just don't want to see you hurt again. Uh, can I hug you? Of course you can. How about we just all hug it out? Let's hug it out.